everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a Riverdale tag. I love the show Riverdale, so I thought that I would create a whole video based around it. I know there were a few Riverdale tags going around for last season, but I decided to do one that was centered around this past season, which was the second season, and it's the first part of the second season that I'm going to be talking about. I've composed a list of questions all about the show, and I'm going to answer them for you right now. The first question is, how did you discover the show? One night, I turned on the TV to CW, and I saw Cole Sprouse's face on my TV screen, which I haven't seen on TV in a really long time. I used to watch him on The Sweet Life, so I was immediately intrigued when I saw that Cole Sprouse was back on TV. I started watching the show from Season 1, Episode 2. I was immediately hooked. I loved it. I watched every episode of the first season, and then I watched every episode of the second season. I also caught up on the first episode of the first season because I missed it when it originally aired, but I caught myself up and I really love the show. The next question is, who is your favorite character? Now you think that I would say Cole Sprouse's character, Jughead, because he's the reason that I started watching the show. However, my favorite character is Archie, played by KJ Appa. I just really love Archie. I still really love Jughead, but I feel like Jughead would be my second favorite character because Archie just takes the top spot for me. I know Archie has some character flaws, but underneath it all, I feel like he's a really sweet guy and I just really love his character. Although he definitely has made his fair share of mistakes, I feel like he's tried to make it up, he's tried to redeem himself. When he was going on his little revenge binge against, you know, the Black Hood for his dad, he was kind of caught up in the whole thing, and when that was happening, I was like, Archie, why are you being so stupid? But he snapped out of that whole episode that he was having, and he was just back to his sweet self. Overall, I just really like Archie. I feel like he has good intentions most of the time. I also love the actor that he's played by, KJ Appa. I think he does a wonderful job with his portrayal of Archie. And I just really like the whole character of Archie. I like that he can sing and play guitar, because KJ Alpha can sing and play guitar. And he's not bad to look at. He's pretty easy on the eyes. Also, I didn't say this before, but I have all the questions written down on my phone, so if I'm looking down, that is what I'm looking at. Also, if you see a blue glow like this, that is from my phone. Anyways, continuing on. The next question is, what has been your favorite episode? I have a few favorite episodes. I love the racing car episode where it was definitely a takeoff from Grease, but I really liked it because it was kind of a suspenseful episode in a way because you didn't know what was going to happen, who was going to win the car race, and then I liked how at the end the competitors of Archie and Jughead, the guys who were racing them, got busted by the cops, and then Jughead was like, what the heck, Archie? I just thought that it was a really good episode, an interesting twist at the end. Another episode that I really liked was the one where they try to save Pop's diner. I just liked that episode because it was really fun. Everybody was all at the diner trying to save it, and I liked how Josie and Cheryl did their little performance. At the end, there was that huge twist when Veronica's parents were revealed to have bought Pops, so now they own the diner, and they were just like, oh, we just made a little donation, Veronica, but really, they bought the diner and just kept Pop on as a manager or something. So I thought that was a really interesting episode as well. The next question is, what has been the creepiest slash scariest episode? I would say the one where Betty goes into the abandoned house because the Black Hood was calling her. He was saying, Betty, you have to go into this house, and then you have to open this box, and what's in the box? A black hood, and she puts on the black hood, she looks in the mirror, and that whole scene was so suspenseful. So that episode was just really scary for me, and very creepy as well. Another episode that was very creepy was the weird three-part episode, which was in a different format than all the other episodes have been in. It was the episode divided up into three parts, as I said, the first part was focused on Archie and Jughead, the second part, I believe, was focused on Cheryl and Josie, and then the third part was focused on Betty and Veronica. There was just a lot of strange things that happened in that episode. I thought that the guy that they ran into, Archie and Jughead ran into, on the highway was weird. He was super creepy. He was hiding these hit deer that he had run into, these bloody deer. It was just weird. Also, the bloody deer in the road, when they showed that, 
reminded me of a scene in Teen Wolf that also involved a bloody deer, so that was interesting. Also, the part where Jughead was at that random restaurant with that creepy guy and he was talking all about the Reaper of Riverdale or something. That was a really suspenseful and creepy part. And the Cheryl and Josie storyline was so creepy and disturbing. The heart in the box was gross and Cheryl was drawing that creepy picture of her and Josie. Then, that is when the janitor was introduced. And for a split second, I thought he was the Black Hood when they kept showing him. And I was like, ooh, he is creepy because they kept showing him lurking in the background in the high school and then weirding out Josie. And I didn't really think much of him after that episode because that whole episode was quite strange. The next question is, who is your least favorite character on the show? I don't like that snake charmer lady who lied to Jughead about his dad and then made him do that weird favor with the crate. She was just all kinds of weird and I didn't like her. I also didn't like Miss Grundy for obvious reasons. I didn't like her in season 1, I didn't like her in season 2, and they killed her off, which I was not mad about because her character was just awful. I also am still highly suspicious of Betty's dad. He seems very off to me, and I still don't like him. Also, I don't really like Tony. She got in the way of Betty and Jughead's relationship, and she's just kind of there as a female Jughead. She's with the serpents. She's just not my cup of tea. The next question is, who is your favorite person that you love to hate? I would have to say Cheryl. Now, I go back and forth with Cheryl, because I feel like she's a very interesting character. She's very complex. Sometimes she's good, sometimes she's bad, you never know what you're going to get from her. When she comes on the screen, you can either expect something big is about to happen, or you can expect that she's just kind of lurking and listening to everyone's conversations, and it's going to do something with all that information that she's gathering later. In some scenes, they make Cheryl very vulnerable, and you kind of root for her, but then in other scenes, they make her character so bizarre and weird that you're just like, what is she doing? I definitely have mixed emotions when it comes to Cheryl. However, most of the time she is the character that I love to hate. The next question is, which character on the show would you want to be? I would want to be Veronica because she has the coolest clothes. She was dating Archie and she kind of still might be, maybe. Also, she lives in a really sweet place. She just has a lot of confidence and I like her style and just how she carries herself. Next question is, who has the best style on the show? My number one answer for this would of course be Veronica because I love all of her clothes and I really like her color palette for all the outfits that she wears because it's darker colors. I prefer wearing darker colors but in the summertime I really like to wear bright colors. So I actually also really like Betty's style as well. I like some of her light pink shirts and her pastel colors that she wears. However, Veronica definitely has the best style on the show, but Betty I feel like would be a runner-up for that category. The next question is, who are your favorite parents on the show? Now I have certain parents that I like, not as a couple if you get what I'm saying. I really like F.P. Jones actually. Not as like a parent, but I like him as a character. I think his parenting style is pretty awful, but as a character I think he's very interesting and he brings a lot to the show and I think the storylines that are revolved around him are always pretty entertaining to watch. Also another parent that I really like in the show is Alice Cooper. I didn't like her at the start of the show, but I feel like season two she definitely changed a lot and she embraced her serpent side, which was really interesting to watch. I just feel like she's loosened up a lot more and she's a lot more fun. Also, hands down, the best parent on the show is Fred Andrews, Archie's dad, because he's the most level-headed, he's the most calm parent, he just gets it. He knows what he's doing, he's a good dad to Archie, and he's definitely a better parent than F.P. Jones and Alice Cooper. Those two characters are very interesting to watch, but as a best parent overall, I would say it's definitely Freddie Andrews. The next question is, who is your favorite couple on the show? I really love Jughead and Betty together. I think they're so cute. I really like that combination because Jughead is kind of from a tough family and he wears, you know, the leather jacket. Betty is also kind of from a tough family, but tougher in the sense that they're tough on her and not tough wearing leather jackets usually. Betty's kind of prim and proper and she always wears pink and Jughead is way more 
edgy. I just really like watching them together, and I think that they have really sweet scenes together. The next question is, who did you think the Black Hood was? I thought it was the sheriff. I was dead set on it being the sheriff until that whole episode which was centered around him. Betty was snooping all around Kevin's house to find out things about his dad, who is the sheriff, and then she found that black hood and I was like, that's definitely him. He is the black hood. He has it in his desk drawer. Then it ended up not being the sheriff. Also, when I watched that whole episode based around the sheriff, I thought they couldn't possibly make it the sheriff now because it wouldn't be a surprise. Last question is, were you shocked about who the black hood was? Yes, I was completely surprised. I didn't expect it to be the janitor because I thought for a millisecond that it was the janitor in that weird episode that he was in, but then I totally didn't think it was him after that because they didn't really focus on him. Also, a lot of it didn't add up. They put him in the show way later in the season, so nobody could really guess that it was him, but it was a huge plot twist that it actually turned out to be him. Those were all the questions that I had for my Riverdale tag. I will put all the questions below. If you watch Riverdale and love it as much as I do, then you can make a video answering those questions, and I would love to watch it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.